How do you find Devil Fruit without the Notifier Game Pass? Is it really all just about getting lucky, or is there a way that you can farm the fruit? Well, guys, today I'm going to show you that it's actually possible to farm fruit. Now, guys, I did a little bit of a test the other day on my new with a Dark Blade account, and honestly, within like 10, 20 minutes, I found pretty much the fruit that I was looking for. It was super, super easy, and yeah, it was just absolutely insane. So, guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can do the same. Now, first things first, I got to get a stat refund, because for some reason, I decided to put all of my points in blocks fruit and one thing that's very important is that i don't die <laughs> so yeah guys the way that blocks fruit actually spawn in the game is pretty simple pretty much kind of like in the actual show or anime or manga or whatever you consume i don't judge <laughs> Pretty much, they spawn under trees, and they kind of spawn randomly. Every hour, randomly, there is a devil fruit that spawns. Now, the main way that most people actually go about trying to find these fruits is by using the devil fruit notifier game pass, which is very expensive, guys. Yeah, guys, the devil fruit notifier game pass is 2,700 Robux. Is this guy really trying to... Oh, oh, you have... Oh, you have... Oh, my God. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna die this way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, never mind. He is way stronger than me. Oops. <laughs> But yeah, guys, like I said, the devil fruits actually spawn under trees. Now, what you kind of have to decide on is what devil fruit are you looking for? Because it's going to make a big difference in what we're going to do next up. So, for instance, the fruit that I've been looking for for a while, at least on my alt account, was the ice fruit. Now, the most common place for the ice fruit to spawn, I'm pretty sure, is actually right here in the ice area. So, now obviously, it's not spawn right now. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, guys, what we're actually going to do, guys, is we're going to go right here and we're going to set our spawn point in the ice area. Why does this guy want to fight me so bad? Please no. So yeah, guys, pretty much there are specific spawn locations around the map. I know one of them, for instance, is, a, I think, this tree right here in the ice area. But there's uh, trees in Skypia. There's trees in the Middle Island, Starter Island. There's, there's trees where they will spawn under throughout the entire map. But the place that I've been kind of liking to go back to has been this place right here. So now that I've set my spawn point right here, what I'm going to do is going to be very, very simple. Pretty much, I close the game. And then what we're going to do, guys, make sure to not join a private server. Because if you join a private server, you gotta wait like one hour until you actually get a spawn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just rejoin another public server. All right, we're back here. Now let's see, did we get the fruit? And it doesn't appear like we did. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna log out right away and we're gonna join back into a brand new server, guys. Now what I recommend you do as well, every single time you join the game, make sure to look in the top right corner uh, where it says like player list. Make sure to check out that it says a different person every time. So right now, person in my server is called Yeet. Okay, cool. Um, That's easy enough. So let's look around here doesn't look like we got anything so we're gonna join a brand new server now guys the reason that we want to keep track of if we're joining the same server or not is because if we join the same server there's no point in checking whether or not we actually got the fruit so uh yeah so let's see we didn't get the same server obviously because it's daytime now all right looks like we're good so let's go to the next one and yeah guys we're gonna just keep doing this for as long as it takes to get a fruit now usually i've seen these fruits spawn like like i've seen them just laying around about every few times i join like probably like every 20 times or so nothing here all right, next one. All right, guys. So I just joined this, this server back. And what I noticed is that I got the same exact server I was in a second ago. So when that happens, pretty much all you need to do is just refresh the page. And uh, nine out of 10 times, it should pretty much fix you joining the same server. Now, guys, I've watched a couple videos about, you know, other YouTubers suggestions on how you can actually farm yourself these fruits, like how you can pretty much just look around and find a bunch of different fruits and stuff like that. And almost all of them recommend you just go around the entire map and search for them, which takes a very long time. It is much quicker to just close the game and rejoin. So that's why that's what I'm doing, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god! After about 10 minutes of me rejoining the server, I actually got myself my very first fruit. I ended up getting a little bit unlucky. Unlucky. It's the spin fruit, uh, which I rated one of the worst fruits in the entire game. But I mean, hey, I at least found a fruit. But yeah, guys, it was just about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something of doing that. And honestly, that is pretty good. I mean, if you can get yourself a little bit lucky, let's say it takes you about 15 minutes and what there's like 30 40 devil fruits like you can probably get whatever the heck it is you want without too much time spent especially because you can just watch youtube videos on the side while you're doing this like you know at least that's what i would do look guys i'm gonna spin really fast <laughs> this sucks so much <laughs> wow we're gonna do the spinning bomber wow well at least you get flight with this wait am i holding that in my face there's a sword sticking out of my head right now <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness grief. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm just going to keep going for a little bit longer just to see if we can get something a little bit better than this one. Yo! Look at that, baby! We got ourselves the bloody flame fruit! So yeah, guys, definitely be very sure to check under all of the trees. I mean, I what I was pretty much just doing every time, I'll reset character real quick, is when you spawn in, what you can actually do is you can just kind of look at it like a glance. So you can very easily check if everything there is clear. You can see if that's clear, if that's clear. And you can pretty much kind of look around every single tree. So as I was just doing that, completely unexpected, I find myself the flame fruit. I'm gonna kill this guy with it because I think I can mess him up. Oh my god, he has dragon. Holy crap. Why would you have dragon? Okay, now, now I want to kill you even more. Now I want to kill you even more. Well, you should not have done that to me. You should not have done that, my friend. Yeah, my guy is dragon fruit. <laughs> that is so unexpected. Oh, I'm gonna just leave that guy going for, for a second there. Um, well, guys, now that we've gotten the flame fruit, I think it's pretty safe to say that we've proven that it's totally possible to get yourself pretty much like a pretty damn good fruit. Pretty easily. Like, obviously, the flame fruit not the best fruit in the game, but honestly, it is very, very far from the worst. It's actually pretty decent. Actually, probably better than decent. It just has a lot of knockback. It's probably pretty good for PvP. So guys, as I was grinding, I kind of thought about one thing, and that is the fact that actually grinding in the place that I did, the snow area, might not be the best. It might actually be smarter to go around the, uh, for instance, Skypea. You know, not a lot of people hang out up there, and for that reason, it actually makes it a pretty damn good place. Holy crap, there is literally God. Um, it makes it a pretty good place to look around because that way there's this chance that someone has already found your fruit. So yeah, quick side note there, but hey, let's see what do we have over here. Oh yes. It looks like he's AFK. Ooh, actually, this guy's less. Oh my god! The guy's so weak! He finally went down in one hit! Oh my goodness, grief man. Okay, never mind. I thought he was gonna be like super impossible to kill. He actually ended up being super weak, so I mean, whatever. Oh god, he has returned! Oh jeez. <laughs> So yeah, guys, with that, I'm going to be ending off today's video. Guys, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. But yeah, guys, yeah, see you later, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye. Hey, mister, are you strong? Ooh, very strong.